weeks ago, didn't look like you could stop anything. You're nine quarters later, you haven't given up another touchdown. What, why the big change? It's like uh, it's like this. We uh, we decided like now, like we can't take no team lightly because you seen how the Division One AA came in, you know, um, and surprised us. We we just said we're gonna be focused, and we got goals now, you know, like that we real serious about. And, you know, we prepare for every team now. And that's that's all we can say. But we having fun now too. Yeah, we having fun. Brandon, you've had a little huddle uh, during the last drive. What did Coach Nino say to say to you guys? Can you say it again? Uh, the defense had a huddle on the sideline uh, before the last stop you guys made. What did Coach English say to you guys? He was saying, turn it up. Every every time we huddle, he said, turn it up. Turn it up. Beat them down until they finish. You know, and um, that's what we did. We turned it up. And he said, don't quit because um, it's going to be a dog fight to the fourth quarter. And that's what we did. What were the last two plays like for you? You were uh, after Murray like pretty hard. Oh, it was like, uh, I just felt like, you know, uh, I had to step up. I had to bring everybody together, and um, that's what I did. I had to do my job. And you see, as everybody did, they did their jobs. And when the pass got thrown, you know, uh, they got broken up because everybody did what they had to do. But we had fun, though. That's what we did. <laughs> we having fun, man. I'm feeling good right now. <laughs> yeah, what's what's you the last two weeks? It just seems like something's clicking at a different level. Oh, it was like this. Um, Coach Carr called me out, you know, and it felt kind of bad, but it, he, it motivated me to step my game up because he know what I can do because I shown him, you know, what I can do, and um, he want me to consistently do it every week, and that's something I told him I'm gonna strive for to work every week, work hard, bring the team together, and um, bring the defense together. No, we gonna be number one by the end, hopefully. How does Lloyd Carr call somebody out? It's no, it's just like he take you to the side, you know, and say you're not playing to your potential, you know, and. Um, Somebody else gonna come in and take the job if you don't step it up. And you know, I, I've been working too hard for me to get my job taken. So it was like either step it up or you know uh, step to the side so somebody else can do the job. Or was that his office or something? No, it was just like um, like after a meeting or something. You know, he just took me to the side, talked to me. You know, he talked to everybody when they're not doing what they're supposed to do. He just don't want to single you out. You know, like that. You know, he just want to uh, motivate you to get better. And, Like, um, like, what do you mean? Like, what can he, what can he do to surprise me? Like, it's just my car gonna be my car. He, he practice hard, you know, um, and he bring everybody. He got a voice. He got one voice that bring that everybody listens to, you know. And it's something that um, that motivates me and the whole team. You know, when he start talking, it's like all he wanna do is win. You know, just win. That's what we wanna do. We wanna win. No matter what it takes, we gonna win. You know, and uh, that's something. And he always do, like we play cards and stuff, he wanna win. That's something he wanna do, he wanna win. We gonna practice to do it, you know, to win. That's what we're gonna do, win. <laughs> hmm? No, nah, we play like like um like just cards like spades or something, you know. It's just he competitive he a competitor, you know, and that's something that he's trying to get everybody to be, you know, competitors all the way. And I think that's something that we doing right now. We coming together as a team, competing every snap. You know, we're not giving up, not quitting. We're not doing none of that. When he pulled you aside, were you like, Yeah, he, he, uh, I kind of knew because, you know, um, you know, I came off the ankle injury and, you know, he was saying, like, you got to do it. You got to get better. You got to stay in treatment. And that's something, that's something I stayed, stayed doing, staying, getting treatment, you know, coming out, trying to fight through it. And as I was fighting through it, it started progressing. And I started seeing myself coming off the ball faster. You know, and it was like, now he like, what you gonna do now? You know, it's like, you got your, you got your speed back, you got it back, you know, is you gonna produce for me now? You know, and that's what I told him I'm gonna do every you week. You feel like the last two weeks is more the real Michigan defense? Hmm? You feel like the last two weeks' performance is really the more the Michigan defense than you expected? Yeah, that's something I expected. You know, um, shut down defense. That's something that um, we always strive for. We always talked about, and Coach E see it in us. Every week, he sees that we can get better every week in certain in certain spots. He he break down stuff to a critical, you know, and it's like that's what we take and that's what we work on for the week. Like we got the run, we got the run game. Now you know now we got to work on everybody just doing their job in the passing game. You know, when uh, just the trust, just the trust as a team. Yeah. You know? Just come off, come off the ball hard and low. 
because their linemen stood up, you know, for the most part. But their linemen was good. It's just for the most part, you got to get under them when they like six five, you know. And I'm I'm six two, so it's like I can't be playing with them up top. I just came low, you know. We all fought hard together. We did our assignment.